Hi, and welcome to another edition of The Dish. I'm Maureen Riley. And I'm Stephanie Winarski, and this is what we're serving you this week. First up on the topic is, of course, Hollywood's newest it couple, Taylor and Taylor? What? That's right. Taylor Swift is apparently Team Jacob. Um, the two were spotted last week going on a romantic date in uh, Los Angeles. You know, they got some dinner, went shopping, my kind of date. Um, but the more important thing about this is that we need to turn to the Now You Know whiteboard to talk about this because we have to talk about the love triangle that is currently love and young Hollywood. Yeah, so the triangle. We're, well, it's not even a triangle. It's a parallelogram, I'm going to call it. So at the top, we have the Jonas Brothers. This one with the curly hair, this is Nick. This is Joe. They're both wearing purity rings, just in case you're wondering what that drawing was. Um, so the Jonas Brothers date everybody, except for Kevin, because, well, Kevin, nobody likes him. So what happened was Nick dated Selena Gomez first. And then Joe started to date Taylor Swift. This is Taylor Swift, curly hair, cowboy boots. Good, we got that. So what happened was Taylor Swift and Joe Jonas, very messy breakup. So they, she hates him. She writes a mean song about him. You know, gets ugly. Um, Joe Jonas is like, I didn't break her heart. And then he started dating Camilla Bell, so he did. Um, but anyways, then Nick and Selena break up, and things are also ugly because no one can date a Jonas brother and you know just go quietly. Hello, Miley Cyrus. So, but anyways. These two girls represent what we like to call the I Hate Jonas fan club because they both hate the Jonas Brothers. And then, because they both hated the Jonas Brothers, dated them, they also now became best friends. Now we have the Selena Taylor oh, triangle. But then, this summer, Selena's in Vancouver filming uh, Beverly, with the Beverly Clearly book, um, and she's been linked to Taylor Lautner, who's also up there filming, you know, New Moon, Eclipse, all the rest of the Twilight stuff. So they were thought to be dating, but now Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner are dating, making this the most complicated love triangle I've ever seen. But I guess Selena Gomez is okay with it because rumor is she really wants to date Rob Pattison, to which Selena Gomez, I say back off my man. But the moral <laughs> oh, of this the is just now you know whiteboard is that T squared Taylor plus Taylor equals love for now until they break up again. But this is the now you know whiteboard. So. <laughs> Team Taylor. Team T-squared. <laughs> right. Well, moving on to someone who usually is reporting on the celebrities, Ryan Seacrest. A man was arrested last week for suspicion of stalking Seacrest, who is a host of American Idol and has his own radio show in L.A. and also hosts a lot of stuff on E! He filed a restraining order against Chidley Uzoma last week, who physically attacked Seacrest's bodyguard and that, that happened six weeks ago, but then last week he broke into E-offices in hot pursuit of Seacrest, armed with a folding knife. Seacrest and police officials are worried that he had gone there planning to murder Ryan Seacrest. Um, luckily, Seacrest was not in the building at the time, so he's okay. And he tweeted recently that he is feeling fine, ellipses, happy, after the events of last week. Whew, I was scared for a second there. Um, but... Going back to Twitter and our ongoing saga of Miley Cyrus's deletion of the Twitter, there recently has been a movement to get Miley back on Twitter called Save Fluffy. Well, who is Fluffy and why does Fluffy care about Miley Cyrus on Twitter? Fluffy is the cat of an Iraqi soldier who really wants Miley to come back on Twitter, so he says if Miley's not back on Twitter by the middle of November, he hasn't set a date yet or a specific time, he is going to kill his cat. Oh my god. So the problem now is that everyone's like, Miley Cyrus, you have to come back on Twitter because you need to save this cat. But, you know, Miley Cyrus is like, I'm off living my life, not tweeting about it. And th this cat is in danger. Wow. I'm, I'm scared for this cat. So Miley, if you're watching, come back on Twitter and save Fluffy. <laughs> <sighs> that is way too intense. I'm worked up. <laughs> okay. Well, now we're going to move on to some new singles that have just been released. The first is the new Jay-Z song called uh, Empire State of Mind with Alicia Keys that just came out with this music video. I actually, I saw the music video. It's great. Um, Jay-Z, Alicia Keys, like the power team, you know, almost as good as if it was Jay-Z and Beyonce, but uh, the video is like stunning. Uh, that's all I can say about it. And also they performed this in front of, for, in, before game two of the World Series and, you know, of course in New York and people loved it. So I, you know, I expect Jay-Z's album to do really well at the Grammys this year. Yep. And another person who just came out with six new singles, actually, is Taylor Swift, who made her Platinum Fearless album with um, six new songs that has reached the top of the charts on iTunes. But the only problem is you can't 
complete your album by buying the songs. So you have to buy them all separately, which costs a lot more money. Yeah, where did you get a really scam. greedy Apple? Because I bought Fearless, and now they're like, oh, buy the Platinum Edition. It has it has like 21 songs in it. Granted, a lot of them are music videos, but $16.99 when I already paid $9.99 is like a lot of a difference. That's, I'm not happy, but apparently it's great. Fearless is on track to blow all these records off the chart. This week, actually, Taylor Swift just found out that her first uh, album, Taylor Swift, released in October of 2006, is now in its 157th week in the top 200 albums on the Billboard chart, breaking the record from Nickelback. So it's the most it's the most successful album of the century, you know, nine years in. But um, other than that, uh, big singles coming out, Britney Spears, three, new video coming up. Uh, late, Lady Gaga's got a new single out, Carrie Underwood, who else? Anyone else? Uh, Shakira. Doesn't she just come out with a oh, new yeah. single? New single, new video. Apparently really good. Perez really likes it. Um, and Rihanna actually oh, coming out with Russian Roulette and her second single called uh, "What You Wait Your Turn. And actually she's going to be coming on Good Morning America in 2020 to start talking about what happened with, between her and Chris Brown. So good to see you back, Rihanna. Um, even though your sound's a little new, a little different, but we're excited. So that's all we're bringing you this week um, from The Dish. So until next time, BC. You've just been served the dish.